My Instagram is dead. Long story short, I used to have 100,000 followers on the platform, but over the last few years where I've been posting inconsistently, that has dropped to 86,000. Yeah, I fell off. But this week, I'm turning that round and I'm getting back on. And I'm doing this all because of one person. Let me introduce you to Ellie, aka my arch nemesis. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've never met Ellie, I've never spoke to Ellie, I've never even messaged her. However, for three years, she's been trolling me. Her first message came in October 2020, where she just messaged me saying, LMAO, you still don't have 100K. And she was right, so I didn't reply. However, she did. Three months later, LMAO, ha 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 ha, 93k. Which will you hit first, 50k or 100k? <sighs> yeah, we were losing followers and she was letting me know. But she didn't stop there. She's continued to send me these messages consistently for over three years. Sometimes she'll send me weekly messages, sometimes it's monthly, sometimes it will even take a couple of months. But without fail, she always comes back, she always tells me how many followers I've lost, and she always laughs at me. However, today these jokes come to an end. Because in this video, I'm spending as much time and money as I can to get back to 100k so I can finally reply to Ellie. However, I had no idea what I was doing. So I headed on to Fiverr to get some help and I've managed to find someone that can help us. I will coach your Instagram offering one-to-one -one guidance and support. It sounds perfect. The price for a 60 minute session is 41 pounds. So I think we're gonna buy it. They can teach me how to get back to 100,000 followers. So I made the purchase and a few hours later I got a phone call. Someone wants to join school. Here he is. Our coach is here. Hi. Hello, hello. Now, the coach was really helpful. I gave him a bit of backstory about my Instagram and explained to him what we were trying to do. What you need to do is like, you need to create a plan. I want you to post in a week at least two or three times. I'm just thinking, I just got to try post as much as I can. What I would say that don't post like too much. Make people craving for it. Okay, I want Jason to get 100,000 followers. Jason mm -hmm. to get 100,000 uh, 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 followers. Jason uh, from, uh, Jason so you get 100,000 uh, uh, like, followers. My name's not Jason, all right? But jokes aside, he was actually very helpful when I stayed on the phone for about an hour and with his help he came up with a plan to help me get back to 100k and all it had was two simple rules number one post an instagram reel every single day and number two to also post three instagram stories every single day so i now had all the information i needed now all we had to do was to start the challenge so i'm gonna post my first story now basically just telling you guys about the challenge hello instagram it is me and today i'm coming with some big news i'm basically trying to become instagram famous in the next week if you see me post anything like it comment it interact with it interact with this story i need to get back to 100k and as if that story wasn't desperate enough i then added the caption please don't unfollow me yeah you know what maybe i deserve to have been trolled for three years but with that i posted the story and it was live i think one key thing is challenges we're gonna lose followers before we start to gain them and that's fine i'm willing to do that as long as we do gain them after and we don't just keep losing them. oh we just got our first reply someone said hashtag make george famous that's george by the way not jason all right tell that's my instagram coach and with that day one was underway and it was time to make our first reel. my coach did say to me for my reels to basically just cut down my main videos but i don't really want to do that i may try Try that. But first, I want to try actually filming actual reels, but still linking them to my videos. So look, hear me out. As you guys know, I'm no stranger to going viral. This is what we do on this channel. So I've got many videos that have got 11 million views, 10 million views, 4 million views. So what I'm thinking is I tell these stories through my reels, but basically just summarizing it very quickly. The video I'm going to go for is the fake holiday one. And I'm thinking because it's actually on Instagram, maybe the algorithm will like that. Maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. But there's only one way to find out. So I filmed the reel, just me summarizing the video in 60 seconds. And this was the final outcome. Do you notice anything weird about about this photo? How about this one? Or maybe this one? Well, how would you feel if I told you they were completely fake and they were taken from my bedroom? This is a style of reel I've seen a lot on Instagram, so I thought I'd try and replicate it myself talking about one of my most popular videos. Yeah, with that, I think it's time to post our first reel of the week. Share. Yeah. Our first reel is live. And after that, I just went through the comments replying to them, showing Instagram we were engaged, and also doing some extra stories. Guys, if you've got any questions and you want to ask me, put them in this box right here. Right. And uh, go through. Like my story. Story. Okay, okay, you get the idea. I was just trying to interact with my followers. The reason my coach told me to do three stories a day is to try keep my current audience engaged. However, you'll see on day two, my Instagram needed a lot more than just some stories to save. <laughs> right, so guys, it's now the next day. I just woke up. Let's check Instagram. Let's see what's going on. Oh, great. We've lost followers. We're now on 85.9 thousand followers. We're no longer on 86k. We've lost 100 followers. We've got 35.8k views, which is pretty good, but we have lost followers. And to be honest, I'm not surprised. This is kind of why I stopped posting on Instagram, just because every time I post stories or post main feed posts, I'll lose followers. But we're not giving up this week. I'm keeping pushing forward. Also, we got an update from our Nemesis. This is Ellie. She responded to my story yesterday by saying, LMAO, not the journey to 100K, but we're starting from 86K. Yes, I've got a bit of a head start, right? But I'm also at a disadvantage here. I'm losing followers. If I started from zero, at least I couldn't lose any. And then she also messaged me today, yesterday. I want to get to 100K today. Goes down 100 followers to 85.9K. Yeah, it's every time without fail. Every time I lose followers, she lets me know. I know this probably looks fake and it looks like I've told her to message me this, but I haven't. I promise you, it's literally been three years and I've never replied to her message. But this is going to come to an end soon. I'm going to hit 100K in this video. And 
when I do, I'm going to reply to her message finally after three years of being trolled and get the last lot. But first, I need to make some more reels to do that. Because right now, I'm losing followers. Now, day two is very similar to day one. I just followed the same thing, posting stories, and then filming a reel talking about one of my videos. On this day, I did it about the video where I DM celebrities. and basically just explained who replied. And with that, it is time to post our second reel. However, I have just had a realisation, which is that tomorrow I'm going out filming a public video. And I'm going to be out all day, so I'm not really going to have any time to post or film a reel. So what I've done is I've gone on to Fiverr, and there's actually people in here that will make reels for you. They'll basically take your full YouTube video and turn it into a reel. For example, this one, I'll do an Instagram reel video editing within 24 hours. I'm just going to ask him, can you finish in 24 hours? He said, yes, I offer fast delivery service in 24 hours. Oh no, it's going to cost more, isn't it? Oh, this is costing me a lot of money. I've already paid for a coach. And now I'm paying for someone to make me a reel. I charge $30 for extra fast delivery and $30 for 30 second reel. $60 for a reel. His initial listing is literally for £12.55. And it literally says within 24 hours. But I had no choice. I needed a reel instantly and I made the purchase. So that is tomorrow's reel sorted. Well, hopefully, as long as he comes through and it's not awful. And at the end of the night, I added one final story of me watching Squid Games, which brings us into day three. Right, guys. So it's now the next day. Once again, it's time to check Instagram. Hopefully, we've gone viral. But realistically, we're just checking how many followers we've lost. Okay, so it's still on 85.9k followers. By the way, that doesn't mean we haven't lost followers. It just means we haven't lost 100. So that's good. But now time to see how many views the reel has. Let's go across. 23.1k views. Okay, it's not too bad. As you can see, the first one got 42k. So they're both pretty good. Hopefully, they both keep growing. Also, in other news, I just got an email that our fiber seller's done already. So I'm going to check it out now. Hi, George Mason. Thanks again for your order. Your delivery's enclosed. All right, here we go. So this is the reel he sent me. It's literally just a clip cut down from my second channel of me trolling someone on TikTok. <laughs> Bikey, mate. You're not a hedgehog, mate. <laughs> what? That's actually not bad. I'll accept that. So that is pretty much our reel today done. Now all I've got to do is stories. So in the meantime, I went out and filmed the public video. And on the way, I posted a few stories, just getting me up to the daily goal. And then I filmed the public video faking being a reporter, which if you haven't seen, go check out on my channel. But yeah, with that, it soon got to 6 p.m. And while sat in a Burger King, I posted right, the Right, so guys, I am finally home. I've just checked my Instagram. The reel's doing okay. We've currently got 7,860 views. And the comments are all roasting me. Someone said, why did this flop? so hard someone else said you're flopping man keep going though. thank you i know i'm flopping and of course we got a comment from ellie rubbing in that my plan wasn't working yeah the reality was starting to hit we were halfway through the week and instead of going towards 100k we were still 100 followers down right guys so once again it's the next day we're gonna see how we did overnight oh we've got eight followers okay that's pretty good oh wait and look if you look at the thing it says they started following you from your reel so this is actually helping me gain followers but we are just losing them faster than we're gaining them yeah let's see how the reel's doing <gasps> Wait, we're on 86k. We gained follow. Wait. Hold on. What was your on yesterday? We're on 85.9k. We've gained followers. It's working. Oh my gosh, right. Let's, how's the reels doing? Okay, so yesterday's reel is not doing well. It only got 15k views. However, the fake holiday one and DM one have both gone up. So they're still growing. And we've gained followers. This is the first time I've gained followers in months. Hopefully from here, this is a turning point and we just keep gaining from here. Now from here, every day was pretty similar. It was me just trying to tick off our goals every single day. I would do some stories. There's a whole hole in my brain. Look, guys, the George Mason Instagram only provides the top quality content. Yeah, I didn't think of a real idea, film it, edit it, and then upload it. So this was the real made on day four. It was just about having Harry Styles plaque and how I got it. And it did pretty well. And once again, I was gaining followers. We're now on 86.1 thousand followers, which is more than what we started when we started on 86. Yeah, it took us five days, but our follower count had gone up for the first time. Clearly we were doing something right, so I continued to make reels about my videos. And I made one about the Pedro Pascal rumor I made a couple videos ago. I wrote a whole article about Pedro Pascal playing Steve in the upcoming Minecraft movie, which is fake. He's not going to be in the Minecraft movie. I made it all up and I posted it. Oh, our followers have gone up. We're now on 86.3k. We're climbing, guys. Slowly but surely. We're heading back to 100k. What are the real views say? Oh, the Harry Styles plaque one's on 71.3k. The DM one's on 90k. That's actually the first reel that we've posted that's breached above our follower count. And of course, as every day, I posted our stories. However, it wasn't until I woke up the next day when I found something interesting. I haven't checked Instagram yet. Let's go on. Let's see if our reel yesterday went viral. So, <gasps> whoa, we're on 86.6k followers. We gained like 200 followers overnight. Whoa, 73.6 thousand views. This is literally the third most viewed TikTok and it's not even been up for 24 hours. We've got three people mentioning me in their stories. Wait, does this person even follow me? They don't even follow me. This is great. Not that I don't want people to follow me, but this shows that my reel appeals to people that they want to share it. It's not just you guys that are sharing it. It's people that don't even follow me. Oh my gosh, this is a great start to the day. We've got a comment from Ellie Scott, but she's seeing that this is actually 
working? Because look, she said yesterday, you know what? I respect your grind. It seems to be working. I'll be very upset when you hit 100k after my three years of banter for not having it. Well, then three years are about to come to an end because my coach's plan was actually working. So I continued to follow it. I made another reel based on one of my videos and I posted it, but then I noticed something big. I think our reel is blowing up. Literally, as you can see, the reel we posted yesterday is on 121,000 views. We've also gained some more followers now on 86.7k. Also, as well as that, 13 stories have now mentioned us. And again, these are all people that don't follow me. Our first reel had hit 100k and our Instagram was growing. But I stayed calm. I remember what my coach told me. Keep your audience engaged. So I did some stories of me cooking dinner. What an absolute chef. And a few hours later, this happened. The reel's been up for about four hours now and it's already got 10,000 views. However, the big performer is yesterday's reel, literally on 300,000 views now. Yep, despite my other reels not doing great, this one just kept growing. And overnight, it didn't stop. It's time to check Instagram. Let's see how yesterday's reel did. All right, let's go to our profile. We're on 87.2k. We've gained over a thousand followers this week. Let's check our reels. Okay, yesterday one isn't doing great. It's on 16.6k. But oh my gosh, the fake news one we did is nearly on 400,000 views. Yep, we were getting our first taste of Instagram virality. But it wasn't enough. And I knew that I needed to do something big. And I feel like as the biggest catfish, it's time I try and catfish reels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a part two of the DM video. And I'm going to fake a few DMs and pretend that actual celebrities replied to me. So that's what I did. I spent the day photoshopping some Instagram DMs from the likes of Neymar and Harry Styles. I was also sprinkling in the inside joke on this channel that Harry Styles is my cousin. It starts with me DMing Neymar and him not replying but seeing my message. And then to make it realistic, I bet two real DMs from Taylor Swift and Billie Eilish. She both didn't reply to me. And then we put the fake Harry Styles DM. And of course he replied. He's literally my cousin. And with that, I posted it. I then did a quick story explaining to my followers it was fake. But no one needs to know that, okay? This is between me and you. And Alicia starting to back me up in the comments. Anyone that says it's fake, tell them it's real. All right, and with that, all we can do now is wait and see how this goes. I'm nervous because for the first time, I'm actually lying and trying to catfish people. People. All my other reels have been genuine, but it was out there now. All we could do is wait and hope that no one exposed me. Let's see how our reel did yesterday. Ooh. We're now on 87.7k. And our latest reel has got 18k views. Okay, not bad. The day before that, 38k views. And then our most popular one, the news one, is on 570,000. So over the seven days, we gained 970,000 views. We gained 1,700 followers, which left us 12,300 followers away from getting back to 100k. But luckily for me, the reels just kept growing. Okay, guys, so it's been a few days. I took a little break from reels just because I was burnt out. I'll literally posting every single day for a week. However, today we hit a big, big milestone. We have hit 1 million views on a reel. This is insane. And I think it's fair to say we have gone viral. My followers have been growing like crazy. We're literally now on 89K. And all my other reels seem to be growing as well. The fake DM one that I did is now on 270K. It's actually overtaken the original DM one. And barely anyone's even calling me out. Literally, everyone just thinks I'm actually Harry Styles' cousin. How have I tricked people into this again? We're about 11,000 followers away now. So I think if I can just upload a few more banger reels, then we're going to get there. So over the next few days, I can't carried on grinding. I wasn't sticking to our initial rules. I wasn't posting a reel every day, but I was trying to post every other day. And I was also posting as many stories as I could. And just a few days later, we hit another milestone. Another one of our reels was blown up. And it's literally happened pretty much overnight. Last time I checked, it was on about 250,000 views. However, I woke up today, checked, and the fake DM reel has hit 1 million views. Yes, 1 million people have seen me on reels saying that Harry Styles is my cousin. With all these new views, our followers are growing again. Which is just crazy. We're now on 91.6K. We're climbing up slowly, guys. We're gonna do it. We're getting back to 100K. The other reels I posted aren't doing as well, but that doesn't matter. Because as you've seen with this, these can blow up at any time. But I didn't have time to wait. Every day that passed that I didn't have 100k was just proving Ellie right. I needed about 9,000 followers and I needed them fast. And something I noticed, since I did the fake DM video, loads of people have messaged me saying, oh, can you say hello to Harry Styles? Are you actually his cousin? And even when I've been uploading reels, they've been like, please say hi to Harry for me. So I feel like I need to milk this lie even more. So I did what any person would do. Hey, yo. Famous relative check. Yep, I doubled down on Harry Styles being my cousin. And if you're new here, you won't know, but this is actually the second time I've done this. This was the original one I made a few years ago trying to get famous on Chinese TikTok. And this is the updated one. As you can see, we've now got Harry Styles plaque, so I showed that. I also put some updated footage of me at Harry Styles shows. And with that, I posted. I then once again made a plea to my most loyal followers, asking them for help. If anyone says he's not my cousin, you tell him he is my cousin, because he is, right? And of course, the George Mason Nation came through, commenting on the video, confirming that Harry Styles is my cousin. And anyone that said otherwise, they would guess slighting them. And let's just say all of their work wasn't for nothing. Right, so guys, it is the next day after we uploaded the famous relative check and it's gone crazy. So far, it's only been up for about 12 hours and we've got over 350,000 views. And yeah, people are genuinely believing this. Now, throughout the day, the TikTok continued to grow. However, it wasn't until I woke up the next day where I saw it, it'd gone crazy. I woke up this morning and look at this. We have gained over 2 million views overnight. And not just that, our follower count has gone up with it. We have hit 99k. We're literally 300 odd followers away from 
from 100k now. And I think with that, we're going to hit 100k today. Right, guys, I've literally just had a shower. I've got changed. I've checked our follow account. And we're getting very, very close. As of right now, we're exactly 25 followers away from 100k on Instagram. It's going up. Oh my gosh, you're just getting two new followers. Guys, this is it. We are seven followers away from 100k. Yes, I have hit 100k on Instagram before, but today, this one feels different. This one feels like we've really earned it. I've worked hard over the last 20 odd days. And we're now five followers away. Four more. Four more. Here we go, guys. Guys, we're three away. Three followers away now. Come on, two people, please. Follow. Yes, we have done it. 100k. Oh my gosh. 101k. Let's go, guys. Maybe when I do this, it's going to be a satisfying update. Yes, look at that. 100k. And I think now there's only one more thing to do. Let's go to my Instagram DMs. Oh, and look who's here. She sent me a message today saying dot, 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 it's time. And then she said 0.1k left. But we've done it. And it's time to accept this DM. I don't actually know what to say. It's been three years. I've not thought this through. I didn't know we were going to actually hit 100k again. But I think the only thing I can do is to send her this. Let's just copy this link. Send. Take that, Ellie. 100k, we are here. And she's seen the message. Oh, she replied. Ah, have you been seeing these messages for the past two years? No, the past three years. You know what, guys? I've got to thank Ellie. She gave me the inspiration. Every few months, getting reminded that I was losing followers time after time. It was my villain origin story. And today, I've lived it out. We have proved her wrong. And we've rickrolled her. Which is a great win of my eyes. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like it. Head over to Instagram, follow me. And if you see me lying about anything and you think it's not true, just go along with it and tell people it is. Yeah, guys, it's been George Mason TV, the 100k follower Instagrammer. Over and out. Boom. Did someone say cat? Fish? Yeah, that's me. I look six foot, but I'm five, five foot three.